Hi and welcome to Forming Expressions and Equations. Just before we start, just a reminder that there is an, a, a notes chapter available for this video. Check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So we're going to begin with just forming some expressions um, and in order to do that we just need to identify um, what is happening uh, with the letter that is involved. Is there a multiplication, a division, an addition, a subtraction um, and so on. So in the first one there are 25 pens in each box. Write an expression for the number of pens in B boxes. So first of all with this one let's just think if there was one box, um, if there was one box we would have 25 pens. If there were two boxes, what would I do? Well, I would do 25 and then another 25, so there'd be 50 pens. And if I kept going, three boxes, there'd be another 25, so that'd be 75 pens. What could I do really quickly? Well, that could be 1 times 25 for one box, 2 times 25 for two boxes, 3 times 25 for three boxes. And so if there are B boxes, well, I need to do 25 times b. Now, 25 times b, whenever we are dealing with algebra and we've got a multiplication, we don't write that multiply sign, so we just call it 25b. And so now, no matter how many boxes we have, we'll be able to work out how many pens there are. Um, in the next one, Jenny is x years old. Her sister, Helen, is five years older. Write an expression for Helen's age. Well, in this case, if Jenny is X and then Helen is five years older, that would be her age plus five. And so Helen would be X plus five. And so now, no matter how old Jenny is, if Jenny was 32, then Helen would be five years older, 32 plus five, 37. If she was 23, she'd be 23 plus five, 28. And then lastly, a square has a side length T. Write an expression for the perimeter of the square. Well, in the last one, the perimeter, if we just draw ourselves a little uh, sketch, that would be a side length of t. And because it's a square, all of the sides are the same. Now, if that is t and t and t and t, how do I get the perimeter? Well, I would add them all together. So I could call that t plus t plus t plus t. And that is an expression for the perimeter. But we would always try and simplify that as well. So if I had t plus t plus t plus t, how many t's are there? Well, there are four. And so we have four t. So next, we're going to extend that, uh, that idea a little bit and extend it into forming an equation in order to solve a problem. And so we are told that Mo and Sadio are the same age and Roberto is one year older. The total of their ages is 85. How old is Mo? Well, Mo, we don't know his age, and therefore we're just going to call that X. If it's something that we don't yet know but we want to know, we give it a letter. Now, Sadio is the same age, and so he would also be X. But Roberto is one year older, and so if he is one year older than Mo, then that would be X plus 1. We are then told that the total of their ages is 85. And so all we need to do is we need to add together Mo, who was X, with Sadio, who was also X, and Roberto, who was X plus 1, and add them all together. And so X plus X plus X is 3X plus 1. And we know that the total of their ages is 85 and so we can form an equation we can say that the total of their ages equals 85 now the question was how old is Mo? so we need to work out this equation and solve it to find x so the first thing i'm going to do here draw in my little tram lines i'm going to subtract one from both sides if i subtract one i get the 3x equals 84 and then, to get x all on its own, I need to divide by 3. And so, x on its own will be 84 divided by 3. And 84 divided by 3 is actually 28. Now, we just need to check here, is that the answer to the question? 
is more 28 well more was x and so x equals and so that tells me that more is 28 it also though tells me that Sadio well he's also 28 but Roberto we were told he was one year older and so he would be 28 plus 1 29 Next, we have a rectangle, and we are told that the perimeter of this rectangle is 48 centimetres, and we need to find the width of the rectangle. So the first thing we need to think about here is, if this is a rectangle, what else does that mean we know? Well, it means that the height here of x centimetres is the same on the other side. That would also be x. The width of the rectangle at 2x take away 3, well, that would also be the same at the top. But we've been asked here about perimeter. So what does it mean when we have the perimeter? Well, that means we've added all of the sides together. And so we've taken 2x take away 3. And we have added x. And then we've added 2x take away 3. And then we've added x. So we've put together all four sides. Now, all I need to do here is simplify this expression. So I have 2x plus x plus 2x plus x. So that means in total I have 6x. I have take away 3 and take away another 3. So I've got take away 6. And we've been told that this equals 48. And therefore we can just make an equation 6x take away 6 equals 48. Now we've been asked to find the width of the rectangle. So we're going to have to solve this equation. So the first thing is we're going to have to add 6 to both sides. So 6x equals 54. And if 6x equals 54, we then want to divide by 6 in order to get x all on its own. So x equals 9. Now, is that the width of the rectangle? Well, if we have a look, x is actually the height of the rectangle. We want the width. And so, in order to get the width, we're going to have to substitute x equals 9 into the formula 2x take away 3. And so that means we would do 2 times 9 take away 3. And 2 times 9 is 18, take away 3 is 15. And so the width would be actually be 15 centimetres. So next we have a triangle. And we're asked to find the size of the largest angle of the triangle. And so each of the angles is an algebraic expression. We have x, we have 2x plus 10, and we have x take away 30. Now, for this one, we actually need an extra little bit of information that we need from our own knowledge. And that is what the angles in a triangle add up to. And so we know that the total for the angles in a triangle are always 180 and so in this case our um, our equation is going to equal 180 all we need to do though is we need to remember that this is the sum of all of the angles so i'm going to have to add all of those together so x plus 2x plus 10 plus x take away 30 what does that simplify to well that gives me x plus 2x plus x that is 4x and it gives me plus 10 take away 30 let's take away 20 and so it's telling me that my equation to solve is actually 4x take away 20 equals 180 and so first of all we will add 20 to both sides 4x equals 200 then in order to get x all on its own well, i would divide by 4 x equals 50. Now, in this case, the question was, what is the size of the largest angle? Now, all that tells me actually here is that this angle is 50 degrees because that one is x. It also tells me here that this one is x take away 30. Well, that is 50 take away 30. That one is 20 degrees. And so the last one is 2x plus 10. So that is 2 times 50 plus 10 and 2 times 50 is 100 plus 10 
is 110 degrees. So the question was, what is the size of the largest angle? Well, that is it. 110 degrees is the largest angle. And so our final example, we are, have in this case an isosceles triangle, and it asks us to calculate the perimeter of the shape. But we are given no values other than the algebraic expressions for the lengths. But on their own, this is actually enough to do so, because we can find the value of x if we just spot one little trick about the question. And that is, it's an isosceles triangle. The fact that these two sides are the same length. What that actually means is that 2x plus 10 must be the same as x plus 30. They must be the same length. And so we can solve this equation to find x all on its own. And so if we do that, the first thing we want to do is subtract x from both sides. If we do that, we get x plus 10 equals 30. Then we will subtract 10 from both sides, and so x equals 20. Now that we know what x is, we can work out the length of each of those sides. So in the first one, 2x plus 10, well that's going to be 2 times 20 plus 10. So 2 times 20 is 40, plus 10 is 50. We already know that the other side is equal to that, and that's because 20 plus 30 is also 50. And then lastly, the 3x take away 15, well that's going to be 3 times 20 take away 15. 3 times 20 is 60 take away 15, which is 45. And so the perimeter is what we were looking for, and so the perimeter is going to be 50 plus 50 plus 45, which is 145. And in this case, we haven't actually got units, but it would most likely be centimetres. And we're going to end with the um, exam question. It came from the NXL paper in November 2018, and it was foundation paper three. And it says that the diagram shows a pentagon. The pentagon has one line of symmetry. AE equals 4X, AB equals 2X plus 1, BC equals X plus 2. All of the measurements are given in centimetres and the perimeter of the pentagon is 18 centimetres. Show that 10X plus 6 equals 18. Now this question is a one where we need to do a little bit of linking together the all of the information we've been given. So first of all, if I start at the very top, the diagram shows a pentagon. Now this is not a regular pentagon, so that is not saying that all five sides are the same. All it's saying is that they have five sides. The pentagon has one line of symmetry. Now there is only one place where that line of symmetry could be, if we go straight down the centre. Now the important thing there is that if it is a line of symmetry, it tells me that BC and CD are exactly the same. It also says that AB and DE are the same. So AE is 4X, so that is the length all the way across the bottom. AB is 2X plus 1. Now because of that line of symmetry, the side here, DE, must also be 2X plus 1. It also says that BC is x plus 2. And again, because of the line of symmetry, cd must be x plus 2. And therefore, if we are dealing with a per, uh, perimeter of the pentagon of 18, well, we're going to have to add all of those together. So x plus 2 plus x plus 2 plus 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 and plus 4x well, that equals 1, 2, 4, 6, 10x, and plus 2, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, 10x plus 6, and we know that 10x plus 6 must equal 18 because of the perimeter. In the second part, it asks us to find the value of x. And therefore, all we're doing is we're solving the equation 
10x plus 6 equals 18. If we want to do that, we'll subtract 6 from both sides. So 10x equals 12. And then we will divide by 10. Now, this one did come on a non -cal uh, on a calculator paper, so you could use a calculator, but otherwise you're just dividing by 10, and therefore all of the points uh, move one place to make it 1.2 in this case.